Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Them Bones by Alice in Chains. So this one rocks. One of my favorite 90s like hard rock songs. Uh, we are in drop C sharp tuning here. If you don't know what that is, just take a look at the description. I'll, I'll lay out all the notes for you. But it's basically tuning your whole guitar down a half step and then taking the sixth string and lowering it an additional whole step. So it's kind of like drop D tuning, but your guitar was already half step down, if you know what I mean. But just read the, uh, the description and you'll see the notes to tune to. All right, so we basically have three riffs throughout this song now, and we're going to have a second video where I'm going to cover uh, Jerry Cantrell's uh, killer guitar solo. So make sure you check that one out as well. So let's start here with this, probably the main riff of the song uh, that starts here. We have this... <laughs> Kind of the more aggressive rhythm of the song. Now, what's going on here is we have on the first set, we're gonna have this little dissonant interval up here. We're gonna have the fifth fret on the G string and the sixth fret on the B string. You're gonna have that together with the three lowest strings. All right, so you're gonna hit that open. And then you're going to start your climb up with these power chords with heavy palm mooning. So that's just hitting the two, uh, the, lo the lowest three strings there, heavy palm muting, so just lightly touch the bridge um, right where the strings meet the bridge. Downstroke two on the open, so we're going to go up, so yeah, I got two open. I think that's four on the one, and three on the two, one on the third fret, and then back to the open. So we have this, so have this. And you should repeat it, come back here. Now if you just want to use one finger for this chord, that's fine. Make sure you just hit the third fret once and back to the open strings before you come back here. All right, now when the vocals come in, it's like a, a lot more laid back version of that riff, but it has a really cool vibe about it because it's, it's kind of, you know, starts on an upbeat. So, so we're gonna have, that starts with a downbeat actually. This, so we're gonna take this shape Move it down to the second fret. Basically, hit these three strings first: the open D, G, and the B. So just hit those three strings while holding those two notes. Then, on the upbeat, there you're gonna hit the open power chord. Then one, two, three, and start over. And just kind of letting them ring out while you're just hitting each one once. All right, so you have that, and that's the second riff there. That's during the verse. And then the pre chorus section, or you could consider the chorus really, um, is this. And it goes back into the main riff again. Now later in the song that repeats, so it just goes. All right, so what that is, that's that same power chord here, just one finger across the bottom three strings. Eighth fret to seven. And if you listen close, there's a little fill there. And it's, he's doing a slide from the ninth to the 11th fret on the D string. 
and then grabbing, while he's got that note, the 9 on the G and the 10 on the B. So we have this. Then you're going to grab the other two chords, which is the same chord shape here at the 10th fret, then down to 9. So we have 8, so basically 8, 7, 10, 9. But when you're on the 7, you're going to add that little fill to it, so it sounds... And later on in the song, you just repeat it. All right, and then take you back a bit. All right, so that's about it. So stay tuned for uh, Jerry Carroll's Cantrell's guitar solo. I'm going to cover that one note for note. I'll see you then.